Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome Cross Watchers. I hope you are all having an amazing day so far. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you at this moment. What is going on right now in your current situation with you, the person that is on your mind, if any. And what do you need to know right now? So whenever you do come across this reading will be the right time for you to see it. As always, take what resonates, leave out the rest. And if you are interested in a personal reading, I'll definitely leave all of that info information in the description box below for you all. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you're interested in receiving notifications for future videos. And follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. Uh, Capricorn. I'm seeing a smile, like... This smile, it's like a different type of smile. I'm seeing like a lopsided smile. Or it's like, you know those smiles that kind of looks like a smirk? Like someone smiles more like on the right side compared to, <laughs> to their left side. Like if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. If you know, you know. But I'm seeing someone with a smile like that. I'm also seeing brown hair, brown short hair, like sandy brown hair. I'm seeing... Uh, or actually I'm hearing recognition so I see you being recognized for something publicly like you did something good and you're being like uh, awarded for this or even like spiritually like you're being awarded for something something good that you have done and yeah I'm hearing luck on your side I'm hearing you have a because you have done that you have some sort of good luck coming in for you like a cycle where it's gonna things are gonna change your looks about to change and uh, thick eyebrows I'm seeing someone with thick eyebrows I hear a, a phone call from a mother and I'm seeing a hike on a very like um, straight like path so let's take a look Capricorn you've been through a long journey in the past and you've got into a place of stability for yourself but there's someone who I see there's a passion for like there's some sort of temptation flirting going on it's like you two are very attracted to each other I'm seeing you have accomplished something um, good for yourself uh, like a level of stability for yourself I'm seeing a journey um, to like a new home or something or like a movement regarding your home, travels in the past, and you've been able to rest. I see that you have been very content with the choices that you have made before. You've been emotionally happy and satisfied with where you've been in life, with a journey that you've been through, and this, ooh, two of cups. A partnership or someone who you've made an emotional connection to. Ooh, I see you've been wanting to make a journey to see to see someone or to be with someone or even like moving in together. But let's take a look at the way that you've been seeing them because you've been looking at them as if like they've been upset and they lost the the will to like keep moving things forward. Conflict surrounding this person. They've been quiet, hermiting, having doubts about about things with you right now I see that you are you're regaining a lot of memories from the past things from the past six of cups someone from the past coming back around looking at a situation right now like you are reconnecting or with this person or I'm, I'm seeing that it's like someone who you haven't seen in a while. You're you're making plans to see this person. Or it's like um, they're coming towards you. I'm seeing some sort of travel. Even if it's like a car ride. You're viewing this person as like they're 
trying to make a, a decision or try, trying to be fair. They're looking for clarity or they're looking for the truth in regards to whether or not to work on this further. So they're observing this situation with you and they're guarded. You may be viewing them like they're being guarded right now. I'm seeing with this Wheel of Fortune, you're trying to make some changes, um, change some some ways, some of your old ways or start new cycles. I see that you're wanting to change the circumstances between you and this person. Apology, looking at the situation like there, there's some sort of apology needed to be made or like a truce, two of cups. I see you wanting to even like express your feelings or emotions. For some of you, you're dealing with somebody who it's like just a friend thing. You two are friends, but you want to be more. I'm also seeing though, uh, Spirit is saying that a decision needs to be made. Crossroads. We're at a crossroads. You may be seeing like there's a long road ahead in regards to the situation. Mostly because I see this person uh, like they're being very quiet or they're trying to... They're observing you for sure. Truth. They're trying to see, uh, see you how you will react to their silence or to them being more quiet is like they're trying to go they're making they're going back and forth with whether or not to give this a chance they're trying to listen to their intuition as well uh so let's take a look at this person could be um seeing capricorn virgo taurus Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is here. Uh, connection through music. I'm seeing some sort of connection through music with this person. They look at this situation with you like things are not in balance or there's not enough reciprocation going on they want to talk to you they see you now as being like distanced detached or aloof like they feel like you you don't really care they're being bring you as the king of swords like you've detached yourself death card they see you as like being over and done with this situation, which is crazy because it's like, I'm seeing you are like considering seeing this person, but they see you doing a lot of thinking about this. I'm picking up this as someone who you know, like from your past, they're going to come in with a lots of communication though. Passionate communication. Justice. The tower of truth. They want to tell you the truth about why they've been silent. The world. Wow. Ten of Swords Reverse is showing me that it's like they don't want it to be over. They don't want it to be over, but they want to be honest with you when it comes to this with with a new chapter. It's like they're making a decision. Almost seems like they're making a choice to 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 put this to an end, to either break up or or not be together. It's like they're making this decision or the communic that's the actions that they're wanting to take, but their intentions is like they don't want it to be over. They want to talk to you. It's almost like they they think that because you're you're distanced and detached that they're that's where things are headed. King of Cups. I mean, this person cares about you. 
they, they, they do. Let's see what, what they want to say to you, Capricorn. What would this person want to say to Capricorn? Jealousy. I'm jealous of everyone close to you. Ooh, this person has been jealous. They want to tell you that they've been that they've been jealous of someone around you or someone from your past. Future. Someday we will be together again. Yeah, so it's like not a goodbye. It's like a see you later from them. Freedom. I just don't want to be tied down right now. A message. I'm thinking about reaching out. Mm. They're triggered. They're triggered by you. Silence. I just don't know what to say. So they they want to tell you the truth as to why they've been silent. They're jealous. They. Someone around you has like triggered this person. And they're jealous. They feel like um, maybe you've been giving to more than one person. And then now they're like trying to have some freedom. But they, they see you in their future. Spirit is saying that. Um, Spirit is saying there's a hard decision that needs to be made for sure. And. This decision that you end up making is going to be better for you in the long run. Because as with this person, it's hitting... Like, they're completely stalemate, crossroads, on the fence. And the, I'm seeing you, uh, you deserve someone who's, like, sure about you. So, Three of Cups is showing me. I see you going to some sort of party. I see you reconnecting with, like, old friends or family. A party. I'm seeing that. I see you dating. I see you going out for drinks with someone. I'm seeing you going through a, a spiritual awakening through this situation. You're going to become more spiritual. More aware. Of spirituality. Um, or your intuition is going to get stronger. Ooh. The higher fame. Oh my gosh. You have a relationship coming up. And I'm seeing this relationship being a very spiritual relationship. It's going to be success. Successful for you. Six of Wands. Validation. Being recognized. I see that um, the decision will be yours. Justice is on your side. Moving forward. I'm seeing you dating someone or going out for drinks with someone. Uh, in the evening and like this actually leads to something serious like I this is gonna be a serious relationship that you're getting into a very strong strong bond strong emotions uh, I see I see you choosing choosing uh, other options this person's gonna end up feeling rejected in the end because they weren't ready to take a risk and they were just being childish. They're going to miss out on an opportunity with you. And they're going to realize that when they see you uh, dating other people. You're going to get a lot of attention. Like you're going to be the flavor of the month. <laughs> you And I'm seeing this starting from anywhere from like now up until spring, summer. Like, you're going to be getting a lot of attention. Moving on. When you move on from this situation. No longer wanting to fight. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I'm seeing a breakthrough for you. Things are going to change. I'm seeing you communicating your truth to this person. Speaking your truth. When you realize the truth about this person, 
I see you being completely uh, done with it. Like, I see you cutting this person out of your life. When you find out the truth, you're going to be done with them. So let's get some numbers. I'm seeing 3, 6. I'm seeing 16, 25, uh, 82, 888, which is like the number of abundance. I'm seeing some abundance coming your way after some after a cycle of bad luck. Things are now starting to turn, move in your direction. I'm hearing moving on. You're going to move on from the past. Moving on from a person. I'm hearing soulmate. You're going to meet a soulmate pretty soon. Between now and next year, I'm seeing a soulmate coming towards you. I also see you traveling somewhere where there's like a bunch of trees. Like some are very natural, zen. Bali, hearing Bali. Hmm. Let's get some letters. J, M, B, L, S, A, K. And I, so those letters or numbers may be significant for you. But with that being said, this is what I'm gathering. If it resonated, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want. And again, if you're interested in a personal reading, I'll leave all of that info in the description box below. But with that being said, I hope you have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.